Hello dear students and welcome back to this online class video. This is the 6th part of 10th chapter 10s and 100s of class 5 subject mathematics and I am Jay Prakas. Let's start the class. Now let's have an overview of today's class. So in today's class we have a practice time and in this practice time uh, we will solve some questions based on decimal numbers and also fraction numbers. So now let's start. Here is a question and it is a match this means match the column we have. So let's read the question. Match each yellow box. Here we have yellow boxes with one green. Okay. Here we have the green boxes and one pink box. Okay. So this is our question. We have to match this. Okay. So let me arrange this first here. Okay. So here we have to come to the middle column means come to the green column first as you all know that one rupee it makes hundred paise right so here you can see all the numbers means all the things are written in paise so first is five paise okay let me solve it first five paise means five upon hundred if when you will write in fraction so you will get five upon hundred so let's uh, let me check that where this type of fraction part we have in yellow box or not so yes here we have 5 upon 100 so let's match it so we have matched it 5 upon 100 now in rupees column which is in decimal form uh, we have to convert this fraction number into decimal number so how do we convert as you all know that in the denominator we have 100 means 2 1 and 2 zeros so for the first zero we take the first digit of the numerator so 5 is taken now just write 5 here okay now for the next zero here we have no digit so just put here 0 and as you all know for the 1 we always put a decimal point so now it will be 0 0.05 rupee so check in the pink column where we have 0 0.05 so here in the third number here we have it okay so first is clear now come to the second second is 25 paise so let me write this number in fraction 25 paise means 25 upon 100 because 25 paise is the 25th part of 100 so let's check in the yellow column where do we have 25 upon 100 so here we have no 25 upon 100 so let's find its simplest form so it is 25 1 ja and 25 4 ja 100 so 1 upon 4 we got so at last here you can see we have uh, just a minute we have 1 upon 4 okay now come to the pink column decimal form we have to find so uh, 25 upon 100 let's convert this number into its decimal form so same thing you have to do for this 0 we have 5 so write 5 here now for this 0 we have 2 so write 2 and for this 1 we take a decimal point now it is 0 0.25 rupee so here 0 0.25 match this number with 25 paise so second number is also solved 25 paise we have matched now come to the 99 paise and 99 paise means 99 upon 100 because it is 99 parts so in yellow boxes here we have 99 upon 100 so just match it and now write find its decimal form to get the pink box answer so for this 0 we have 9 for this 0 another 9 in numerators and for the 1 take a decimal point and then 0 it is 0 0.99 so at last here we have 0 0.99 now come to the next 50 paise it is already done here you can see now come to the next 75 paise so 75 paise means 75 upon 100 100 rupees so 75 upon 100 rupee 
so where do we have 75 upon 100 100 in the yellow box so here is nothing so uh, just try to find its simplest form so both numbers are divisible by 5 so 5 1 ja and uh, 5 uh, 5 ja 25 it is cancelled now it is 5 2 ja and 5 0 ja once again you can divide by 5 5 3 ja and 5 4 ja so 3 upon 4 you will get so where do we have 3 4th rupee so here we have 3 4th rupee and now in uh, decimal form you can write it as uh, for this 0 write 5 on the numerator we have 5 so write 5 and for this second 0 just write 7 and now for the 1 take a point so it is 0 0.75 rupee so on the top here we have 0 0.75 now at the last 10 paise so 10 paise means how much rupee 10 upon 100 rupee right so 10 upon 100 we can also simplify it 10 one ja and 10 10 ja means 110 rupee so here we have 110 rupee just match it okay now let's find it decimal form to get the answer in pink boxes so 10 upon 100 okay let's write it up in decimal form so for this zero we have zero so write here zero for the next zero here we here we have one so write here one and for this one the denominator one take a decimal point and now it is zero so 0 0.10 so here we have 0 0.10 just match it here so in this way this question means match the column we have solved come to the next colorful design let's read it what part of this sheet is colored blue dash upon 10 so here we have a sheet and let's see how many uh, strips are here parts are here 1 2 3 then this is 4 then this is 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so total 10 uh, color strips we have 10 parts we have after all we can see now uh, blue one is only one strip one part is here so we can write as one one upon ten and uh, here we will write one and as you all know one upon ten means zero point one in the decimal form now next question what part of the sheet is green so here we have three part of green you can see so we will write three okay what part of the sheet is green so it, it is 3 so 3 upon it will be 10 and in decimal you can write 0 0.3 now next which color covers 0 0.2 sheet okay 2 of the sheet so 0 0.2 of the sheet it means 0 0.2 so it means 2 upon 10 so we have to find a color which has two part out of this 10 part so what is that yes so that is yellow you can see here we have uh, two yellow parts so that will be 0 0.2 part now next oh the blue strip is 0 0.1 of the sheet we have already done it now look at the second sheet this one each strip is divided into 10 equal boxes how many boxes are there in all so here you can see the the previous part means the previous sheet was divided in also 10 equal boxes so total boxes it will be 100 okay you can also check it by counting so let me count first on the top 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and same thing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so it is a 10 by 10 sheet so total boxes will be 100 now it is proved now each box one upon 100 part of the sheet yes this yellow one is also one upon 100 part this green one this white one this red one each part is one upon 100 part of the sheet how many blue boxes are there so this is the blue part right and it is uh, how many blue boxes are there so we can write 10 boxes are there so is blue equal to 10 upon 100 yes because blue is the 10th part 
of the 100. So it will be written as 10 upon 100. Now we saw that blue is also equal to 1 upon 10. Yes, 10 upon 100. This is the main uh, part of the blue one. But you can also see that it is one part of the 10. Means if, if we will join these all blue parts, okay. And similarly also we will join the 10, 10 parts of the same colors like 10 yellows, 10 green, 10 white, 10 red. So we will get 10 uh, colors. Means sorry, not colors, 10 part. Total number of parties will be 10. So blue it will be its one. So we can write as 10 upon 100 means 1 upon 10. And in decimal form we can write as 0 0.1. Or you can also write 0 0.10. Both will be correct. These all are same. You can also say that these are equivalent fractions and these are equivalent decimal numbers. 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.10. Remember it. Now on the next page. So can we say 10 upon 100 is equal to 1 upon 10? Yes. And 0 0.1 is equal to 0 0.1. Yes, we have already done it. Now, can we write 10 paise as 0 0.1 rupee? So we can definitely say it. Now, how many boxes are read? So let me count it. So these are 10 and 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 boxes are read. So we can write it as 15 upon uh, 15 upon 100. So it will in decimal form it will be written as 0 0.15. Now as you all know, uh, as you all remember, 99 paisa is also written as 0 0.99 rupee. Now 300 of the sheet is black. We can say 0 0.03 sheet is black. How can we say this? Actually, 3 upon 100 when we will convert in decimal form. So you will get for this 0, here we have 3. So write 3. For this 0, here we have nothing in the new numerator. So just write 0. And for this one, put a decimal. So now it is 0 0.03. Okay. Don't write it as 0 0.3. Both are not equal. I want to say that 0. Point, uh, let me write it once again. 0 0.03 is not equal to 0 0.3 because both have their own values 0 0.03 means 3 upon 100 okay and 0 0.3 it has 3 upon uh, you can also write uh, 3 upon 10 okay so in this way both are different so don't make a mistake now how many white boxes are there in the sheet so let's find the white boxes so first here are 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. So total 22 white boxes are there. So we can write as 22 upon 100. Okay. What part is white? So we can write as 22 upon uh, 100. Okay. And 22 boxes are white. So make your designs. How? Here is a task. Make a nice design by coloring 0 0.45 part of this is square red okay so here uh, okay here it is a 10 by 10 10 by 10 is square sheet okay total we have 100 100 square sheets are 100 boxes so here we have to take 45 means 0 0.45 means what it is 45 upon 100 okay so we have to take 45 parts of the 100 so let me count the half 1 2 3 4 5 so this is fifth line okay and 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be taken as like this okay okay now you can make your own strip lines in this way so this is 45 and this is uh, 55 now next is 0 0.05 part so you can take one this part one two then three then four and then five this is 0 0.05 part and then you can color it or make your own design any type of so in this way you can make your designs 
i hope you have very well understand this all now some questions i want to ask you and you have to answer in the comment box you have to convert these fraction numbers into decimal numbers so first question is 50 upon 100 what is its decimal form similarly 35 upon 100 what is its decimal form means what is its decimal value and the last one 7 upon 100 you have to write its decimal values in the comment sections so now let's over today's class see you all in the next video till then be safe be healthy jai hind